Not for the first time in Israeli politics, the opinion and exit polls were hopelessly wrong. After initially announcing a very comfortable 10% margin of victory, the official result was much, much closer. It wasn't until the early hours of the morning that Zippy Livni's supporters could finally let go and celebrate. Israel's foreign minister, regarded as the moderate candidate in the battle to lead the country's biggest political party, finally won by fewer than 500 votes. The woman who could be Israel's next prime minister was clearly happy but relieved. This hope that Kadima members have in me, I see this decision that was made by them as a responsibility that inspires me to approach this role, which is not only head of Kadima but also Israel's prime minister, with awe. This is how I'm approaching this task. Some of Zippy Livni's critics, including her main opponent in this election, Shaul Mufaz, say she's politically inexperienced. When Echad Olmert formally resigns as prime minister in the next couple of days, Ms. Livni will try to form a new coalition government with opposition parties. If that fails, new general elections will be called at the beginning of next year. As well as a commitment to reach a workable peace deal with the Palestinian Authority, Zippy Livni represents a break with the past. She is untainted by the kind of allegations of corruption and bribery that led to Mr. Olmert's resignation and have damaged the reputation of Israeli politics in the past.